Overall, Viking internal gear pumps have a simple design with very few moving parts, and each component serves an important role in pump operation. In this video, we will take a closer look at the internal components of a Viking pump. This is the Pump Report. The internal parts of a Viking pump include the rotor shaft assembly, idler gear, idler bushing, and idler pin. The first of the moving parts is the rotor shaft assembly that has an internal gear design with rotor teeth that point in toward the center of the gear. The drive source couples the shaft and rotates the rotor gear, which in turn rotates the idler. The idler has a smaller diameter and fewer teeth than the rotor gear, which means it runs at a higher speed. The meshing and unmeshing of the rotor and idler gears is what pulls in and carries liquid through the pump. The idler rotates freely on the idler pin and features a replaceable bushing that comes in a variety of materials depending on application. Finally, the idler pin is located on the head of the pump and is also a replaceable component. The pin supports the idler gear assembly. Each internal component of a Viking pump is critical for a properly functioning unit. To learn more about the anatomy of a Viking pump or to see other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.